Good morning everybody and welcome back to the Lake District and welcome to the hole in the wall. On my way up to Hellevelen today via Striding Edge. Uh, it's four o'clock in the morning so it's just starting to get light. It's pitch black at Patterdale when I, I parked up at uh, half past two. So uh, I thought I'd bomb it up here and start the video at this point. So uh, anyway, let's go and check out the route, see where we're going today. Okay, so I'm parked up in Patterdale and I've already walked up towards the Crytale Valley all the way up to the hole in the wall, which is where I am right now. It's a bit of a slog. And then from there up to High Spying How, then along Striding Edge, up to the summit of Helvellyn down Swirl Edge and over to Castycam, back down to Red Tarn, back to the Hole in the Wall and then across to Burkhouse Moor. Then finally that long walk back down to Batherdale, picking up that path I was on earlier on. That's the route, should be fun. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to High Spying Howe, which is, it is, it's the start of the edge really. That's the point where you get that really great view looking right along the edge and you, you drop onto it. So I'm going to get up to there and uh, I'll update you at that point. Let's go. Okay, now just walking up onto High Spying Howe, which is really the point at which these views appear. Um, although the light's not quite right yet, the sun has just uh, come up, <laughs> just risen, but it's behind a bank of clouds so we can't really see anything yet. There's no light in this valley but my goodness, when light spills into here it is stunning, absolutely stunning. In fact a few years ago I sat up here for three hours, just watching the world go by. It was wonderful. So here we go. This is where we get the first proper view down along the edge. There it is. Gorgeous. it. Yeah. What a fantastic view over there towards all the water. A shaft of light. Beautiful. <clears throat> Ooh, a little bit of sunshine, that's nice. Check that out there, look, along the edge. That's the first bit of sun. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's just go down this way. Oops. Oh, sunshine's nice. Cove. Gorgeous. That is absolutely stunning. Oh man. If only I could be bothered to get my camera out. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get my camera out. Almost as soon as I got my camera out, the light went. <laughs> I knew it would. <laughs> it's always the way. Managed to get a little shot off, but that really vivid green had gone. Anyway, not here for that. 
here for this, <laughs> here for the edge. This is it. As you can see, it's not exactly razor sharp, is it? It's a pretty straightforward walk. Right, ordinarily I would go straight across here, but I'm gonna just drop down a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. On to, give me a heel on there. Uh, give me a foot on there. And then uh, down that way, I think. Oops. Kind of staying high ish still. Oops. I don't want to sound like I'm making no excuses, but having this bag on your back makes a big difference. Normally I do this walk, it's uh, quite a light bag, you know, a normal day sack. Not this hoofing thing. <laughs> it just kind of throws your balance. But look at that. That is, that can only be described as biblical. There's lots of little options, you know, you can go across, right across the top, or you can uh, go on a lower path there, or something like this, kind of something in between. So there's lots of options. Uh, Probably, so I think, halfway ish. We go up and down. Oops. Well, that was interesting. My foot completely gave away then. You're all right, sheep. Hey, Hurdy. <laughs> Living life on the edge. Oops. bird noises this morning. Ooh. Sorry about the sniffing by the way. There's just literally nothing I can do about that. actually with it being so slippy today <laughs> now I'll 
watching the chimney. Of the chimney. It's just down here. And what I'll do, I need both hands for this bit now. So I'm just going to climb down here and then. Uh, I want to get down to the bottom. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, chimney done. And <coughs> that's kind of the ridge over with, really. Uh, look at this. Ooh. Beautiful view of Red Town. So now really we've just got this last little bit of a climb up um, towards the summit. And I think the best way to tackle this is just head on direct. No point in taking any side paths. Just get on with it. <laughs> Straight up. And then uh, once we're over this little lump here, then it's a very straightforward path up to the summit and up to the shelter there. <clears throat> lots and lots of birds out today. So, looks really daunting, but just go for it. Now, I've never done it with something in my hands before, so we'll see, see how I get on. <coughs> that way. I reckon. <sighs> Nice down there, looking down at Red Tower. Oh, that's lovely. Hoping the cloud will clear off a little bit and uh, get some nice views from the top. Because, yeah, pretty special. That's it, really. Yeah, so it's just a path up now, ordinary path. might uh, stop and have a snickers. There's a nice little bit of light down there in Nevermost Cove. Fleeting moment there. And there it goes. 
It's trying to clear. Snickers consumed. View admired while well, it lasted. Now I'm just approaching the summit plateau of Helvellyn. Hey, Rudy. Don't fall off. So, we've got the shelter here. I'm going to sit here for a bit and hopefully all this clag is going to clear off. And we'll get some nice views. They see the tan now. Not big lump. And a bit of swirl edge. Right. <coughs> I waited and waited, but it's not gonna change anytime soon, I don't think. This guy. Morning leave them alone. So I'm going to head on up to the trig point and then uh, head over to Swirl Edge and down towards Casty Camp. And Swirl Edge is a lot of fun. Those of you who have been up here, you know the view that way. Red Tarn, Ulls Water in the distance and you know the view that way the whole of the Lake District. <laughs> yeah, quite a big drop down there, straight down to the town. You know, it's June and it feels like November. It is cold, really cold. Hat and gloves. It's crazy. Look at these guys. Come on, surely you can find somewhere warmer than this. <laughs> Gorgeous. Little lambs right on the top of Helvellyn. These guys are nails. Look at that. It's peeking up. <laughs> right, here we are. So this pile of stones here marks the top of Swirl Edge be quite daunting when you first go over the edge here, particularly in winter, but it's actually not too bad. Quite polished though. It's all about foot placement. Now, you see this path's all around the side here, but I do like going down the middle if possible. <coughs> kind of feels like you're on the edge then rather than to the side of it, if that makes sense. This normally on a clear day is a fantastic view down into that valley. <sighs> Not today. Still moody though. Got a nice mood about it. It's just an epic bit of rock, this, isn't it? Fantastic. view. Just get little glimpses of it every now and then. That's why I love days like this. 
I could slide down there or climb down there. I'm going to slide. Sounds fun. Until I die. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Get me for a minute. Go that way. You can see all the crampon marks here from winter. there that was the weight on my back that pushed me forward then Oops. over it is <laughs> Not bad. it's looking nice now look the valley there. Loving these clouds dropping off the top. Wonderful. Very, very atmospheric. This is where when I get down to the bottom here, I'll look back up and it'll be clear. Happens every single time. Wow. Gorgeous. It's that big spike you can see right in front. That is Casticam. So we'll go up there. Wonderful view from the other side. Well, from the top, sorry, looking down towards Glen Ridding. Well worth that extra little bit of a detour. As tempting as it might be to sack it off when you get to this point and go down to the tarn. You know, you really should just dig deep a little bit and get up casty cam so you can have like a little bit of a play here you know it's not particularly dangerous it's not you know exposed anyway it's a nice little play on a little mini ridge well i say it's not exposed if you fell down there it'd be snookered stick to the edge as much as possible. Look at that light there. That is stunning. Nice little foothold there and a little jump. Oops, Daisy, don't want to be tripping here. <laughs> the trip down there, I'm dead. And that, ladies and gentlemen, pretty much concludes Swirl Edge and Striding. Morning. Wow, conditions have completely changed now. Sure enough, the top is almost clear. So if I'd waited another 15, 20 minutes, <laughs> it would have been clear, but that was still fun coming down the edge. Look at that light behind. Gorgeous. Right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this coat off, hat off and then we'll go up cast again stripped off it's cold again <laughs> here we are cast a cam check this out for a summit
whether or not to have some lunch. What do you reckon? I'm gonna eat, I'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm abandoning this place as my lunch stop. By the way, it is only 8.24 in the morning. <laughs> but it's been a long day, so now it's lunch. But it's too windy here, and it's just, it just keeps spitting as well, so I'm gonna find a nice little sheltered bit down there. And have a little bit of a chill, and hopefully that sun will come back out again, which would be nice. So, I'll see you down there. Is this the most beautiful little picnic spot you've ever seen in your life, or what? My own little island. <laughs> Gorgeous. I want that sun to come out now. I'm going to bask in it. I'm going to have my butties. Butties and bask. Yeah. And watch those people going across the edge. And then uh, I'll uh, probably make a nice, a slow, casual stroll down to Burkhouse Moor. <laughs> Let's get back to Terra Firma. Right. That has got to be one of the best picnic spots I've ever had. Brilliant. Sheltered from the wind, beautiful in the sun, and it was great just watching those little ant people go across the, uh, across the edge. Satisfied now. A couple of putties, another schnickerish. Now I'm on to Burkhouse Moor. morning and I started it just up there. I just want to show you something here. Last year, last winter, the snow was so deep it was up to the cams. It was right up to here. Incredible. I mean, it's like solid as well, so you could walk right on it. Okay. That is a mighty fine view, is it not? So that's Burkhouse Moor ahead of us. So I'm just going to keep on up to that. It's not far, actually. And then from there, I will be dropping down towards Patterdale. I'll end up on that original path that I was on when I first set off this morning. Here we are. Burkhouse Moor. And it's funny, you know, it feels like a moor. It feels open and exposed. Different to the fells. Look at them behind. My God, that is astonishing. You can see the whole route there, actually. Up Striding Edge, right up to the top of Helvellyn, round, down Swirl, up Cassie Cam, down to Red Tarn. Wonderful. There you go. Sheffield Pike right in front of us. Glenrid in Dodd. That's gorgeous. It's nice. Let's get going. That's quite a nice shot, that. It's too sunny. Right, let's go. Okay, that was Burkhouse Moot. Very nice. Nice view over to Ull's Water there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the wall and then follow it down about 500 metres where... I'll go through a gate and then pick up the path that I was on this morning on the way up. So I think what I'm going to do is leave it here now and probably continue and wrap it up in Patterdale. There's not a lot 
to see now really it's just a path and me walking down it <laughs> probably quite boring even more boring than the rest of it <laughs> so anyway i'll see you back in patterdale now i know i said i was gonna continue again at patterdale but just how nice is this wall <laughs> if you follow it all the way up that takes you right back up to the top of burkhouse moor and that pointy bit on the left of the screen that is uh, high spying how which is where i was this morning just before i started onto the edge and that is the mighty grisdale valley hill on the left hand side the saint sunday crag and the one next to it is fairfield you drop down that's basically grisdale town there in the background you've got uh, seat sandal then it goes up to dolly wagon pike now the most pike and and so on Right, here we are, back in the Patterdale. It's a nice rhododendron there. Yeah, this morning, it's absolutely pitch black here. And uh, I heard a skittering coming from one side, down the road. I'll switch my head torch on. And it's like a little badger running towards me. As soon as I put my light on, it's like... <laughs> I slammed the brakes on, almost ped you know, backpedalling like they're doing the cartoons. And then whew, off into the bush. Very, very cute. Actually, this morning I saw three badgers and uh, two foxes, so that was really nice. There's Ull's Water just there, and obviously Glen Ridding just around the corner. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. It's, uh, it's been a weird old day. It's been winter and it's been summer, summer again now. But I uh, hope you enjoy it, and I hope you get out and do it. It's a popular route. It's not a unique route by any stretch of the imagination, but um i'll put the description the route of the description anyway you know just in case you want to have a look at it and uh until the next one see ya I can, oop, nearly <laughs> I nearly went there